It's hot. Yeah. This is kind of dumb working out here in the hottest day of the year so far. <laughs> what is this coming? They're bringing me a swimming pool. On top of the side by side. Oh, your hillbilly swimming pool from Dollar General. Mm -hmm. Nice. That's gonna feel good. Cause it's hot out here. Look at that sun behind you. Hey, I'm done screwing around finally. Good. Whew, got all of them in. That was tiring. Fence is done. Now we just gotta put the gates on. Yay. All right, so we made a mistake. Somehow we measured wrong. I'm not sure how. But, uh, these two posts, these two big fat posts for the gate, to hang the gate on, it's too wide. So we got something wrong somewhere because this gate won't fit. We've got all this space. So it's like on one post kind of too far over. We went to the post. So too late to fix it, fix it. So what we're gonna do is use some of the leftover four by six posts that I got for the shelter and put these up against the post like this. We'll stain them black again with the rest. I board holes, three holes in it. And then um, I drilled a hole through it, through the post or a little bit into the post. And then I bored a wider hole so I can get that washer in there. See, there's a washer in there. And then I'll put my lag bolts in there and lag bolt these to the post. And then that will close this gap. Luckily, I've also got the generator on the side by side. So I got power out here so I can use power tools. Good, nice and tight, lag bolted in. Once that's painted black to match, you won't even notice, it'll actually look good. Nice framed out touch for the gate. Out here on the farm, it's good to have a bucket of black lacquer ready to go at a moment's notice. <laughs> After that, Kristen, paint this. Kristen, paint that. Yeah. Well, that looks way better already. Can't even tell. Once I chop the top off those posts, it'll seem like it's all one piece. All right, looks good. Now we can hang the gate. I kinda got it. Does, does that feel cute? You run right into me, why don't you? You're a big 
Yes, puppy. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we want the first one to be about like that high. Yeah. So raise it up about there. Is that about right? I've used that wrench more for putting gates in than for the hitch. Perfect fit. We measured this one right. Okay, so now we just gotta put the top one in and get it level. So, this one, we're gonna put it in this way. downward. Right, so the bottom one was upward, the top one is downward. That way people can't take it off yeah. and steal so, your gate. Yeah, so like I did in the entrance gate, in those videos, people called me out on it because I had them both up because I didn't know what I was doing. And so you can just set the gate on top of both, but then people can steal the gate. They can just lift it off and take it. Mm -hmm. Or pranksters, teenagers come across and lift it up and let all your livestock out. Right? You're a teenager. Would you do that? No. Okay, good. So we're gonna install that one downward like this, and then we'll unbolt this and lift it up on and then tighten it, okay? All right, you wanna do it? Get that started. Maybe take the hammer. We got the hole drilled. The hammers are here, maybe get a Get it to bite in. You want to hit it? Hit it right there. Yeah, don't do that. Oh, you're hitting it downward. You want to hit it straight in. Maybe hit there. Okay, that's not gonna work. I'm lucky you didn't hit my hand. Okay, that might have actually been enough. No. Because it might loosen it then. So it did work. <laughs> you don't want it to come out an angle. It's got to, you don't want it to wiggle out. Mm -hmm. So keep it nice, steady. Keep it parallel. Or perpendicular. I'm sorry, keep it perpendicular. Parallel to, parallel to the post. No, parallel to the ground. Well, the oh, I'm sorry, the wrench parallel to the. Oh, okay. Post. <laughs> I thought I was actually doing something. There, okay, I think it's. Okay. There. It's still kind of wobbling a little bit, so be careful. Don't push up on it. Yeah. That one getting hard to do? Yeah. Okay. Raising of the game. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay, I guess you first. Back it up, mommy. Back it up. Yep. Okay, now. Now you're gonna have to lift the gate over on this side. Not that much. More. Nope, nope. Too, nope, back in there. Nope, too much. There you go. Okay, tighten her up. That looks good. Looks good over here. Yep, plenty of room. Okay, that's probably good. 
All right, does it swing right? Yeah, we mainly just want it to swing inwards. Yeah. And the reason why you want gates to swing into the pasture is because whenever you're going in to like get an animal, like a cow or a horse into the pasture, um, you don't want the, the gate to be opening inwards to you because they could get out easily that way. You want to open them out so you push them out like if they're against the fence. Mm -hmm. To push them out back instead of... Back in the field. Instead of whenever you have to bring the gate out, they all don't come out on with you. <laughs> all right. All right, first gate done. Here's your knife. Cut the price tag off. Then we're going to go and we got two more gates to put on. We got one. They're smaller gates, just six foot gates for entrance gates at the front entrance there. And then one way down in the corner down there to go out to the trail. All right, gate number two, take us there. Our front entrance gate. Start the generator. Where do you want it? You wanna bring it back in here so we can mark it? Okay, so you want it probably about right there? Okay. Okay, mark it. Where should it go? No, oh, high. Remember we want it up here? So that this can be lifted up to it. So probably about right like that. It's all yours. Now lift that up. I guess if someone wanted to steal one of these fences, it's all they would need is a wrench. Yeah. You tell me, is this good? All right, two down, one more to go. On to the next one, gate number three. Yep. The trail gate. So this is our third and final gate. And it's gonna head out to our trail, we're gonna cut through there. Fence is done, complete. Well, we still gotta cut the tops off. But the gates are on. Yes. Horses can come in here now. Yes. All right. Thanks well, for watching, right? Yes, thank oh. you for watching. Make sure you follow From Scratch Ranch on Instagram and Facebook, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know each time we post a new video. Um, well. Until next time. Keep living the dream. Yeah. <laughs>